As we continue with the discipline of celebration, our theme today is Praise the Lord, and our scripture is the concluding psalm from the book of Psalms, Psalm 150, which is itself a song of praise for God's surpassing greatness. This was the scripture that we used as the call to worship this past Sunday, and Barbara also referenced it in her sermon. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his surpassing greatness. Praise him with trumpet sound. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with clanging cymbals. Praise him with loud, clashing cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The psalm builds to a crescendo, as you can hear, just listening to it. And notice who and what and where praise is to take place. We praise God in the sanctuary. We praise God in a special place that is largely set aside for worship. But it's also praise God in his mighty firmament, up in the sky, in the heavens. And every day, you know, the sky is telling the glory of God from sunrise to sunset to the beauty of the clouds to the stars and the moon. The firmament is praising God. We praise God for God's deeds among us, for which we can give thanks. We praise God for God's character, for God's surpassing greatness. And how are we to praise God? With every instrument we can get our hands on. Trumpets, lutes, hearts, tambourines, strings, pipe, cymbals, uh, every type of instrument. And with dance, which involves our physicality, that we physically invest ourselves in praising the Lord. And let everything that breathes, think of that, that's every created creature, right? The birds of the air, the animals, uh, let everything praise the Lord. And I hope as you think about your own life that you recognize that one of the things we are called to do every day we live, as long as God gives us life and breath, because we won't always have this life and breath in our lungs, that every day, we should live with gratitude and praise to the God who has created it all and made it all possible. So I hope today that you will consciously adopt an attitude of praise. And as you go through your day, keep your eyes and your ears open for every single thing that you can praise God for, as well as for listening to how the birds and the sky and the trees and the flowers the beach grass and the waves are all praising God together.